quick message for you. Um, here in the uh, sporting goods store picking up something for my kids. They have a lot of cool stuff here Just a quick message is you have to remember as you go through life There's two parts to every person. There's a body and there's a soul There's the body in Hebrew it's called the goof and the soul is called an neshama That's a soul. That's the peace of God the spark of Hashem that's inside of you The sporting goods stores are amazing. They have cool, really a lot of great cool fun stuff you Just have to remember that there's two parts to a person a body and a soul and each one has its particular needs. The body needs its uh, exercise and oxygen and minerals and nutrients and vitamins and stuff like that in order to be alive and have its optimal function. And in the same way, the soul has its own particular needs. Uh, if you're a Jewish person, your soul needs Torah and mitzvahs and you need a connection to Hashem uh, in order to operate in an optimal state. And remember this, and I write about this in my book, Short and Sweet on the Parsha, just as all of the physical stuff in the world, all of the physical stuff in the world is not going to do anything for your soul and all of the spiritual stuff in the world is not going to necessarily do anything for your body. Each one has its own needs. Yom Kippur is coming up and when you'll be really, really hungry towards the end of Yom Kippur and you want a drink or you want something to eat, if I come and try to tell you a Torah thought, you might say, Rabbi Bregman, that is so great for my soul, but my, my, uh, my body needs a drink. And I would tell you in the same way, all of the physical stuff and physical pleasures in the world that is really nice for your body, certainly up to a certain point, but at a certain point, you have to realize, A, it becomes counterproductive for the body, and number two, all of the physical, physical stuff in the world is not going to satisfy your soul, just like all of the spiritual in the world cannot satisfy your body's needs when you need a drink at the end of Yom Kippur. Anyway, but places like this are cool, especially when you're looking for something neat for your kids. Um, have a great day saying hello to you from, uh, from Sports Authority. Bye.